In this video, I'm going to show you how to change themes at runtime using the RAD controls for WinForms. So to get started, I'm going to select Telerik RAD controls for WinForms and create a new Telerik project for the menu. I'm going to use a C Sharp project and I'll go ahead and leave it as the default name and click OK. And this is going to pop up a dialog that allows us to select the particular Telerik assemblies we want to use in our application. So I'm going to select the Win Controls UI. And then from themes, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these because I want to allow the users of my application to choose the particular theme that they would like to use rather than me enforcing a particular theme on them myself. So I'll go ahead and click finish. And this is going to generate our application for us. And the first thing I want to do is jump into the code behind and I'm going to change our form to be a rad form since that's a themable form. And I'll switch back to the form designer. And from the toolbox, I'm now going to drag out all of the different Telerik theme components. So I'll drag out the Aqua theme, and then the Breeze theme. Let's also use the Desert theme, the Miscellaneous theme, the Office 2007 Black, and Office 2007 Silver. And if we scroll down, there should be a couple more themes in here. Let's add the Telerik theme and also the Vista theme. And now that I have all of the basic themes provided by Telerik included in my application, let's go ahead and create a menu that allows our users to switch between them. So from the toolbox, I'm going to drag out a rad menu. I'll go ahead and place that into the designer. Let's add a file menu and an exit menu just to add the, some of the basic functionality to our application. So I'll go ahead and change the name of this particular menu item to Exit. And now I'm going to add a, another menu uh, specific to changing the themes in my application. So I'll go ahead and call this Themes. And to this menu, I'm going to add two more menu items. Uh, the first being for the Telerik, Telerik themes. So I'll go ahead and change the name of this menu to Telerik Themes. And then let's change the variable name for this item as well. We'll call this menu Telerik themes. And this menu is going to be responsible for displaying uh, all of these different themes uh, that, that Telerik has provided for our application. And I'm going to add another menu item, and we're going to call this custom themes. And this is going to be responsible for displaying the themes that I load in using uh, maybe themes that I've created using Visual Style Builder. So I'll go ahead and select that menu item, and let's change this to MNU Custom Themes. And let's also change the text name of this menu item to Custom Themes as well. And now that my menu is created and I've added all of these Telerik themes to my application, let's go ahead and jump into the code behind. And I'm going to paste some code snippets I have in here. And so what these are doing is they're actually creating, this This method is responsible for creating menu items that I want to add to that Telerik themes menu and to that custom themes menu. And so for the create theme menu item method, I'm going to pass in the parent menu, which will be the Telerik theme menu or the custom theme menu. And I'm going to pass in a menu name, so like the string that I want the user to see when they're selecting a menu item uh, that's in that menu. And then I'm also going to pass in a theme name. And this is going to be like Aqua, Desert, you know, one of the provided Telerik themes or the name of one of my custom themes that I've imported into my application. And using these things, it's going to create a menu item using that menu name, and it's going to associate the theme name as the tag on my red menu item. And then once I have that set up, I have simply create a click event. Uh, it's going to be the same click event for every single one of these menu items. And then I add it, add that menu item to the parent menu, uh, again being the Telerik themes or the custom themes menu. And then for the click event, it's going to retrieve the menu item that was clicked, and then it's going to going to set the application theme name on the theme resolution service uh, to the tag that's on that particular menu item. And when I set the application theme name on the theme resolution service, uh, this is what's responsible for changing the overall theme that's used throughout the entire RAD controls based application. So I'll go ahead and resolve this theme resolution service type now. And the next thing I want to do is populate our menu 
with theme choices. So the, I'm going to paste in another code snippet here. And this code snippet is responsible for populating that Telerik themes menu. And as you can see, I'm just passing in the string name uh, for the menu item name that I want to that I want the user to see, and I also pass in the name of the theme as the tag that I want to associate with that menu item. So when it gets clicked, uh, the application theme name on the theme resolution service gets changed to that particular theme. And so, let's go ahead and call this populate Telerik themes method from our constructor so that it gets populated when we run our application. Let's go ahead and run the application now and see how it looks. So here's the application up and running. And here in the themes menu, when I select Telerik themes, we can now see all of those different menu items that I've added for the particular Telerik themes. So let's change to Vista. As you can see, that theme changed instantly in my application. And I also have the ability to change to other themes included in this menu and it will just update my application in real time. And I don't need to worry about applying the theme on the startup of my application. And I can give the users a choice of, of what theme they would like to use when using my application. So what if I have some custom themes uh, that aren't included with the Telerik themes that I want to use in my application? Uh, how do we add those? Well, that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'll go ahead and close out the application. And let's switch back over to the form designer. So from the toolbox, I'm going to drag out a rad theme manager. I'm going to load a theme that I previously created for my application. And uh, also from the toolbox, I'm going to drag out a few buttons so that we can see how those get themed. So I'll go ahead and place that one right there. And we'll go ahead and add one more button. And I'll just make these a little bit bigger so we can see those themes. And so now on the rad theme manager, I'm just going to select the smart tag. And I'll click load theme from file. And then here in this folder, I have a theme that I've previously set up uh, that's, predict that's specific to the rad button. So I'll select that and click open. And now that's included in my application. And the name of that theme is actually basic theme. So I'm going to jump back into the code behind now since I've got that set up. And I'm going to paste in another code snippet. And this method is called populate custom themes. And what this does is it basically loops through all of the loaded theme names that are inside of that rad theme manager and creates custom menu items specific to each of those themes. So I should see my, my basic theme pop up inside of that custom themes menu. So I'll go ahead and call populate custom themes. And let's run the application one more time. And so now when I select themes and custom themes, I can see that theme that was loaded up from those XML files that I included in my application. And when I select it, it sets it on the theme resolution service and it themes these buttons since that theme that I created is specific to buttons. And if I want to switch back to a Telerik theme, I can just go ahead and select one of those as well and it will re-theme my application. And it's doing this again all at runtime. So I provide my users with the capability to choose the themes that they want to use when interacting with my application and therefore provide a bit more usability uh, specific to their needs. And so that's basically it for applying themes at runtime in your RAD Controls based applications. Thanks for watching.